Hey guys, Luke here. In this video, we're going to be going through self launching your kite on the beach. This is just one way that you can self launch, and if you are you know, thinking about self launching, you should already be really comfortable flying a kite in the intermediate to advanced levels. It's always much safer to have someone obviously hold the kite and launch it for you. So, this is just a way that uh, once you start getting comfortable with it, I, I actually really like to launch this way. There are sort of five uh, steps to doing it. First is the surroundings. We have to make sure we're in a nice clear area because the kite can move when we're launching like this. Then second, we really have to make sure we've set up our gear correctly. Then we talk about our bar positioning, our kite positioning, and then the launch itself. So let's get straight into it. I can't stress enough how important safety is here. When you're self-launching, things can change. It doesn't work perfectly every time, and you have to be prepared for that. You have to really be comfortable flying your kite. So, you know, the first step is to make sure there's no one downwind, okay? We don't want to injure anybody else, of course, as well. Uh, no obstacles. And that the bar and lines aren't running over logs or rocks or anything that could snag the line when it's launching. You really need a nice, clear, flat area grassy area, sandy area, something like that. The second step is we have to know that we've connected our bar and lines correctly to the kite. So, you know, double check, triple check this because we don't have the luxury when we're about to launch of somebody holding the kite, we can visualize how the, all the lines are sitting, there's no crosses, anything like that. We don't have that luxury here, so you really have to ensure that all of your bar and lines and kite are set up correctly, you know they're right, so when you're about to launch, you, you're not gonna run into any unexpected uh, problems like that. So now, I've got the leading edge of the kite running uh, into the wing here, so the wing direction is like this. You can see that the bar and lines are also set up directly upwind. And so what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do now is actually reposition our lines as if somebody is going to launch the kite for us. So we want to move our lines across the wind window. You can go in either direction and that way when it's launching the kite will, uh, should stand up and actually launch as if somebody is holding onto it for us. So that's the first thing. So I'm going to move my bar and lines. is if you look down here at the, at, the, at the lines and you look at how the relationship to the wind direction, okay? So we're the wind direction running this way, like hitting me in the face. We've got the bar and lines over there as if we're about to launch. And so then what we can do is pivot the kite so that the leading edge swings around and it's sort of in that same plane as the bar and lines. When you do that, when you do that, you'll see this wingtip starts to catch a little bit of wind. So you can see the pressure racing up this wingtip, and that's because we've, we've spun it around and now the wind is running off this. Now if you go a little bit too far, you'll see the wingtip starts to catch wind. So you can see we've still got good pressure on the wingtip, a little bit more and we're going to get it opening up. see 
there that it's got too much wind underneath the wingtip now and you run the risk of when you're getting back to your bar and lines that the thing actually flips and, and disappears down the beach. So we're just going to move that back a little bit. So again, we've got wind on the wingtip but it's not opened up. So now we've got our kiting position. We have to run back to our bar, okay? There's no time to waste here. We don't want the kite flipping down the beach without us, and we're not attached to it. So we have to run back to the bar, quickly hook in, and then get into position. So the first thing we're gonna do is attach, have the, obviously have this set up so you, uh, it's ready to fly. I like to have my deep power on the right and we're going to hook into the safety. So now we know we're attached to the bar, uh, sorry, attached to the bar, which is attached to the kite. And obviously hook it into our harness. We've got control of the kite. And what we're going to actually do is walk directly backwards. So not upwind, but literally directly backwards from the kite. This will turn this back tail corner here into the wind. It'll catch, fold up, and it should launch. smoothly. In higher winds sometimes you'll see the kite actually uh, like just slide back into the wind window a little bit and regardless once you're hooked into the bar like that and you're getting ready to launch it's much like how you'd be doing a water launch if you crashed your kite on the water. So you basically just use your steering lines to get the kite into position and then steer the kite up into the air. Okay thanks guys thanks for watching Luke here and we'll see you in a couple of videos.